Hello guys, welcome to another episode and the today topic is about modern greenhouse farming in Tanzania. Yes, this is Tanzania. It's not Israel, it's not America, it's not China. So, in this video, we're going to see how to make growing media using water lettuce or water weeds, which coming direct from Lake Victoria in Mwanza, Tanzania. So, this is media made from water lettuce, cultural control of Tutab Suruta, which is known as Kantangaza, and also different crops grown in this greenhouse, which is tomato, sweet melon or musk melon, sometimes it's called cantaloupe fruits, sweet pepper or berry pepper, cucumber, and also onions. We're going to see modern irrigation system running this greenhouse. Making growing media for nursery seedlings. This is greenhouse nursery and this is tomato seedling. We're going to make water lettuce media, which coming from Break Victoria in Mwanza, Tanzania. And this is water weeds, which is harvested from the lake and then processed to make media to grow the seed rings and this water weeds or lettuce can you can grow in your home in water ponds they grow very well the way you can see here also after you grow it it can be harvested and then first you start it to dry it in a dry place to avoid contamination after it's dried, when you rub in with your, ha your hands, you can see it separates. At this stage, the next step is sieving or filtering with using small mesh. You can see down there, fine water lettuce that mixed with sun soil and the normal soil from forest soil with this mixture together with water lettuce to create homogeneous mixture that is ready for growing and supporting your seedling. Water lettuce media is cheaper compared to coconut husk, moss peat and the cocoa peats. Cultural control of insect tuta absoluta. This is tuta absoluta. This is rava stage which is very destructive stage and uh, cause serious damage so since we know this insect is very dangerous because they lay eggs in the soil with the much plastic film technology we can control by interfering the life cycle of this insect Remember, the logic here is the insects, they lay eggs under the soil. So, if you cover the soil, there is no place for them to lay eggs and hatch. So, when you, you put your match for controlling weeds, you don't cover walkway. But when you are controlling the insects, like this tooth absolute, you need to cover your, all your feed, even the walkway. In this way, you can control your seedling or plant from this tooth absolute. Tomato farming. So, in this greenhouse, we grow tomato and the type of tomato grown here the tall one which is keep yielding or keep giving a good yield of fruits for more than eight months it can go even 12 months depend of who your management so your management is the one that can determine how long you're going to harvest so another technology here is drip irrigation. 
another one is raised bed this press is water lodged guys so in the ridge you can see there is a pvc in the middle like here this one that help to drain the water out of the greenhouse in between the row there is channel which covered with piece of cross or kind of blanket which water run away in in that gutter you can see because it's covered with soil so if you keep giving good management this tomato they grow tall even 10 meters So this is about tomato. Sweet melon or mask melon, sometimes it's called cantrop, which is juice orange summer fruit that's related to watermelon and honeydew melon. You can see there is two varieties grown here. This one is yellow one, cantrop one, and another side we grow green. The yellow one inside the fresh are white and they taste like papaya. Cantrop are a good source of minerals which can help to lower your blood pressure. And this one you can see the green one or mask melon, which when you cut is uh, inside they are yellow. So it's kind of vice versa. And also they taste like papaya you can see this one there is yellow and uh, this one green or mask melon in this vine you grow three fruits three fruits is the, the one that you can get this size which is the one required in the market so when they give flower you pinch it and they keep three good fruits sweet pepper or berry pepper cultivar of the plant produce fruits in different color including red yellow orange green purple this one they call sweet because they have less, less pungent chill rats, not like the hot pepper. That's why it's called sweet. And the rat is indeterminate, which means this pepper, they can grow very tall and they can be harvested more than even eight months. Another technology you can see is cotton on the top because they don't need a lot of sunshine for it to grow well you can see also drip raised bed as i told you this place is water road another one is cucumber cucumber is another type of crops grown here there is two varieties of cucumber there is this one sliced one and also this one english cucumber Another technology here is yellow sticker. This one helps to control or to identify what kind of insect, which is give us the notification time to spray and the, which insect is our enemy or which insect to control. storage facility after harvesting onions onion must be cured soon after harvested by pressing them in a dry room and a relative humidity of 70 for 12 to 24 hours curing decrease the incidence of neck rots reduce water loss during the storage prevent micro 
bioinfection and is desirable for development of good scale of colors. So, irrigation control. This is the room that we program the irrigation and the water source are coming from Lake Victoria and the equipment is from the Netafim company, Israel company. So guys, thank you for watching. See you in another episode. Bye.